Hey guys, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a EP permit crab. Uh, we're going to tie it in a very simplified version with only the essentials, and I'm going to use an EP brush, and I'm going to do it in a kind of a multicolored tan with some rubber legs mixed in. It makes tying these very simple, very easy, and quick. Let's get started. So in the vise here, I just have a Tiemco 600 SP in a one knot. Um, this is very much one of my favorite hooks. Incredibly sharp, incredibly strong. I don't think I've ever lost a fish on one of these. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab kind of a barred chickapoo here, and I have it in tan barred. Um, I have two in my hand. I'm going to, you know, lay them together facing each other, and I'm going to take a measurement. This is going to, this is all going to be double duty. This is going to be my claws, my antenna, my mouthpiece, everything. So this is what I mean by it's simplified. It's got the essentials and nothing more. Very impressionistic, um, but still extremely effective. So I'm going to grab that and tie it in right on top of my hook shank. Um, I'm going to measure to about the length of the shank here, um, or about the gap of the hook. And you could change that up if you like. as a general rule, about the length of the shank. So get that on there good. Cut it off, cover it up, create a quick thread base. Um, and I've forgotten to put my eyes in, so I'll put my eyes in right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my eyes, and just create my little thread bump, um, put my eyes pretty close to the eye of the hook. Um, and I'm using yellow. I like yellow. This has kind of got a little bit of a UV signature. A lot of times I'll see permit flies with uh, just plain lead. And I think this can give you an option. Feel free to tie them with whatever color you like. But for me, the crab patterns I've been fishing lately do better if they have colored lead eyes that have a slight UV signature. So whether that's chartreuse, yellow, or orange. I'm just going to reinforce my eyes with super glue and my thread wraps as well. So the next thing I'm going to tie in is going to be my EP brush. So this is going to create a big messy profile that we're going to trim out later. So I find it easier than trying to tie pieces of EP in one at a time. So this way I can just Gub it on there and trim it out later. So, basically I just want to make sure that everything's laying correctly. I spread it out so that when I wrap it, nothing is trapped. We'll, we'll comb it out later too, so you can trap a little bit. Okay. So I'm actually going to put a quick wrap around this here and put in some rubber legs. So I just have life flex here. So fold these in half and tie them in. One on this side, quick wrap, and then rotate it around. So what this is going to do is, instead of having six legs like you see on a lot of crab patterns, it's going to give you four. Um, you can cut out one if you don't like it, but I don't think it makes a big difference, and it's just added movement. It just may not look right to you. Okay. So there are my legs. I'm going to pull them to the side and pull them down so they're out of the way. And we can adjust these things later. So I'm going to pull everything out of the way. This is the only difficult part of this pattern is transitioning from tying the legs to tying your body back in. And like I said, they're going to be all over the place. So. I'm going to grab my EP brush again um, and just kind of restart from where I left off without trapping my legs, which I'm going to. Okay, let's just wrap that. And forwards again and pull back. And then I'm going to put my other set of legs right in here. 
So we're going to try and get that without trapping too much down. Throw a loose wrap just to hold it. And another one. And I'm going to grab my Life Flex again. Uh, pinch it and put one in on this side. Uh, adjust my length. And fold it over and put it in on the other side as well. So the, the way I've t found to tie these uh, brushes is to just leave them full length. It's easier to leave them full length than trim what you don't need than to try and guess what length you'll need. So here's my rubber legs. Quick wrap back on them. Advance my, whoop, advance my thread. And get another couple wraps of this EP brush in there. And I think I can sneak one more in. Maybe two. Okay, I'm actually going to rotate this around and tie off on the underside. Okay, so for my tie off point here. I'm just going to pull back and split this and try to get right down onto the wire. Crank down with good tension. And then come in here. I'm going to come in with big scissors to cut that wire if I can because I don't want to wreck my good ones. And there it is. Just cover that up. Make sure it's fully tied down. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is kind of separate this and you can see I got a ton of junk, a lot of excess. So I'm going to pull my rubber legs out too and get them where I want them. And I'm going to grab a dubbing brush and just start combing this out. And I'm going to comb up so I can get rid of all this bulk. I'm going to do it slowly without cutting my legs off too. Okay. That's starting to look like a crab. All right, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Grab my dubbing brush or a brush of some sort, kind of comb this up, split it, take out some of that bulk. And then trim off my little mohawk. Okay, so at this point here, I'm going to take my rubber legs and pull them to either side, either up or down. And I'm going to trim out the profile of the fly. So I don't want to cut my legs. So I'm going to make sure they're all out of the way. And then I'm going to kind of comb this thing out a little bit. Best I can. So, drop those right there. They're out of the way. And the first cut I'm going to make is right off my eyes here. So, I'm going to do the same thing here, right off my eyes. So, my next cut is going to be square off of that. And again, same thing, square off of that. So, I'm going to come in here and kind of take out some bulk out of this section here. And you can see, I actually have more on this side than I want. So I'm going to just come in and thin it out. Um, so I'm going to take this out, and I like to square that off. And come in here and do the same thing. Square that off. Um, so you should always check, too, that both sides are even, or as even as you can get them. And then... You know, if one's longer than the other, 
just trim it to the shortest. Trim it to the other side, to the shortest side. Okay, I'm gonna grab my comb again um, and comb my legs to either side. And spread them out. Trim them so they're all relatively even. Uh, it's not imperative that you get them to the same length. And you can see I have, oop, just cut one, it's fine. Um, you can see I kind of have some scragglers here, stragglers, so I'll just cut those out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just invert this thing again and reinforce my whole body and make sure that everything lays flat for the whole time it's fishing. And what I'm going to do is just take my UV cure epoxy here and start at the eyes and just kind of make a bead all the way back. So you can work this in with your bobbin or you can just use the needle, which is what I prefer to do. Just get it in there. Get a good solid coat. I mean, sometimes I'll use my finger as well. This is what I want to reinforce here. So I'm going to put my thread up here and then whip finish. And I'm going to get epoxy everywhere. Okay, so making sure everything is where I want it. I'm going to hit it all with the UV light. And fully cure it. Okay. So you can spend all day kind of trimming the profile here and getting the perfect shape. Um, I feel as though with a pattern like this, it's the rubber legs that give the impression of movement and just the size in general shape. So that's it. Very simplified, easy EP crab. Give it a try, guys. Make sure you hit subscribe. Hit the bell button so you're notified of all of our future fly tying videos. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.